So now we're going to be looking at recycling and how that is a crucial part of a circular economy for fashion and textiles. As we saw in the previous sections, uh, a lot of the um, textiles that are collected in the UK are exported. But we know that this isn't the best solution and it isn't the right way to achieve a closed loop circular economy. At the moment, only about 1% of all the textiles collected are made into new fibres. So these are the textiles and the garments that are collected that can't be reworn, and it's such a small proportion. So working towards a circular economy is really about making sure that that 1% grows and that uh, fewer garments end up exported or even worse in landfill or incinerated. So we have various types of technology that help us make waste garments into new fibres. Um, and we're going to be going through some of those technologies and understand like, what their uh, benefits and challenges might be. So first, uh, we can look at mechanical recycling. So mechanical recycling is one of like, the oldest recycling technologies that we have. It was actually used like, all the way back in the Middle Ages um, as a, like, a way of making paper from old garments. So in mechanical recycling, the garments are collected and treated so that they can become uh, new fibres. So that means that all the trims, so for instance the zipper on jeans and pockets and all those bits that are a bit harder, will be chopped off uh, so that we only have pieces of fabric. Those pieces of fabric are then going to be uh, chopped into much smaller bits and then pulled so that the fibres can come out. And then they will be respun and made into textiles like this one, which is made from recycled denim. So one of the challenges with mechanical recycling is that everything that was in the waste garment will be sta will stay in the in the fibre. So that means that things like colour or uh, some chemicals might stay. The bit about chemicals it can be a bit tricky because uh, we are recovering garments that were made at a time where the legislation was a bit different. Um, so it, makes, uh, it means that those chemicals might still be present uh, in much smaller proportions in the uh, outcomes of a mechanical recycling process. Another challenge about mechanical recycling is that by chopping and pulling the fibres, we're making them shorter. And one thing that defines good quality for a textile is, for a textile is how long the fibres can be. So with mechanical recycling, often we found ourselves in the need to add a virgin resource to actually support that mechanical strength of the fiber. So you would often see uh, a mechanically recycled cotton combined with maybe a recycled polyester that would still be like a, a long fiber. So another type of recycling is thermal recycling, and this is most adapted to uh, synthetic materials. So one of the uh, key characteristics of plastics is the fact that they can be melted and reformed into something new almost indefinitely. There is some loss of quality uh, in the, the recycling process and uh, the materials age, um, but essentially uh, synthetic materials do have this capacity to be melted. So with thermal recycling, we might be recycling polyester garments. The most common approach at the moment is to be recycling packaging. So for example, this uh, bottle is made of PT, which is the same thing as polyester, and it can be shredded, made into little flakes, and eventually made into the pellets, which are the um, sort of starting point for to make fibers or anything made out of uh, polyester, really. So um, this product here will then be extruded, it will be melted and pushed through spinnerets to make a fibre which can then be made into a garment. So another way uh, of recycling waste garments into new fibres is by using a chemical dissolution process. So what a chemical dissolution process will do that is different from mechanical or thermal recycling is it will actually break down the molecules that are present in uh, the, the fibre. So this can be adapted to different types of textiles and the chemical dissolution will break it down either into cellulose if uh, we're looking at cotton garments or if we're looking, it's also possible to do chemical dissolution for garments made of polyester, for example. Um, one of the really interesting advantages of chemical recycling is the fact that as opposed to um, mechanical recycling, 
in the chemical dissolution process, we're able to remove some of the contaminants and kind of decide what we want to keep in the fibre to then re-spin it uh, into, a new, into a new textile. So this example here is of a, a shirt that is re chemically recycled from uh, denim. So really interestingly, uh, the blue colour is actually something that's been kept from uh, the initial waste stream. So the genes are sort of put into this big uh, chemical vat which will break down um, the, the fibres and break down, partially break down the molecules so that it can then be reformed into a fibre that is very similar to uh, the viscose process. But instead of using trees like we do in the viscose process to extract the cellulose and make it into a fibre, here, super interestingly, we're using the cellulose that is present in cotton or other cellulosic fibres. It's also possible to chemically recycle garments that are made from polyester. And here one of the advantages is again the fact that we are able to uh, select a bit better what we keep in the, in the new fibre. So um, polyester is made from a polymerization uh, process in which the molecules are made to be, make these long chains. So we can break down the chains a little bit using a chemical dissolution and then reform them to have like much better quality um, new fibres than we would through a, a thermal process. So this is an example here of a garment that is made from a chemical recycling process for polyester. And you can see it looks pretty much exactly like a garment that would be made from a virgin resource. As we've seen in other parts of the course, one of the key challenges uh, with achieving a circular economy for textiles is to avoid contamination between different resources. We know that once we've started combining resources from different cycles, so for example cotton and polyester, it becomes really hard to recover that material uh, and as a valuable output. And that's where chemical recycling is offering really exciting avenues for the future of recycling textiles. So chemical recycling of blends is not com currently commercially available, but it really stands on the horizon as a very promising technology. Warn Again uh, are one of the pioneers in this area, and they've developed a technology which can chemically dissolve uh, garments that are made from a mix of uh, cellulosic materials like cotton and synthetic materials like polyester. And then once uh, those like, fibres have been dissolved, they can be extracted for, on the one hand, the recycling of the polyester as a, a pure fibre, and on the other, the recycling of the cellulose material to make something a little bit like the RNCLF shirt. So uh, this is something that could help us really um, dig into those huge amounts of waste that are made of uh, different resources combined together. So once we've collected all the textiles that are uh, end-of-life garments, recycling might be at the bottom of the hierarchy because it needs more processes, more um, labour and energy to become a new fibre. So we've got some really old processes like mechanical recycling, which offer a fairly effective way of going from a waste garment to a new fibre. We know there are challenges in terms of the quality that might be uh, achieved with these mechanically recycled garments, or similarly with the thermally recycled uh, fibres. But chemical uh, dissolution, although it might mean breaking down even further and going further into like, the structure of materials, can offer some really exciting opportunities to achieve high value output out of recycling process.